Oh no, I missed the manuscript. Damn it. That better not have been the one on the rock. I know I picked it up. But I died afterwards, so maybe it disappeared. Then go eat one, dude! Shit! I just want to get to a gas station and find my dead wife. You know, I was heartbroken over that. Always chasing me and shit. Come on, run! Get down here, get down here! You know you want it! You know you want it! You know you want it! Yeah! Oh, fuck this! Boom! Oh, sorry about that. Uh, oh, you're a dick! Mine. Was it worth it? I don't know. Oh, I could have just... It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it at all. Let's use this first. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it. To I already got one. All of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here. He's just talking the bullshit. Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration. Okay. I'm not so sure how relevant those conversations are, uh, or television shows, but, uh, he was just talking out his ass for a bit. Okay, what the hell did that do? Okay, another checkpoint. They're generous with the checkpoints, so I'll give them that. You're about as scary as a cat. Oh, that was pretty as fuck. Oh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Get out of here. Go home. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I fell on my ass. Okay, this time we'll just start with, we're gonna start with this baby. Or this. Okay, that's fine. You come over to me. Come on, boy. Ah, bollocks, 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 bollocks. Come on. Where am I aiming, Chris? Wait till he gets nice and close. There we go. Okay, that's another one. Come here. Come on over. Come on over. Oh, yeah. How's your nuts? Circumcised. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh shit! Move! Alright. <laughs> you really fucked up with that one, dude. You you had a chance to take off my big toe and you fucked it. That's right, run at home. I'll take this again. Take more of you. Where are you at? Where are you at? You're not scaring anybody. You missed point blank. Huh? That's new. Come on out. Come here. Come here. You fucking cockroach. Well, you seem to be all that's left. So you can just go around as 
quick still running your way around this fucking lumber yard for all I care. Damn it! There we go! Bang! Bang! In the ass! Go on! Take a seat! Hemorrhoids are a bitch! You're lucky I don't got a melee attack! That I'm aware of. Okay, I think I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna die really easily. Shoot! Fuck dude! There! You dead? Boom! Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. That was Sucky? Or what's the name? Stucky? Stucky Ducky? Okay. Whew. I'm kicking ass. I, I'm, I'm fucking enjoying this shit, man. I haven't played a Bang Bang game in a long time. Hey. Alright, yeah. Checkpoint reached. Every time I see checkpoint reach, I get a little uneasy because it means something else is going to happen. Is that a horse? Oh, it's an owl. I recognized the parade float I had seen in oh. White Falls when I first arrived with Alice. I didn't see it. Okay, so I, I'll go jump over. What the fuck was that? You heard that, right? Okay. Shotgun time. Wait, After the insanity maybe not. I just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. I really don't know what's happening in this game. Oh shit, lights. Focus. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I heard that. I heard it. Come out. Come on. Oh, this is so good. This is such a good game. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, that's... I'll write. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. What? Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? At first, I thought it was um, him. We were like the story itself, and he was writing it, and then the game's going to be like, lol, at the end. But it sounds like that's actually us from the future, and we find out that we are uh, writing our own destiny in a way. And that if we don't stop writing, she's going to die. So I'm guessing we go back to the cabin soon, and that's when that's going to take place. Uh, games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, okay. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, man. I feel like I'm missing a special technique, though. Because I have 20 battery. Oh. And I, I haven't used up a single one yet. Great ball, Sheriff Station. Hello? Oh, wow, it actually worked! And she's fine. Ish. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Yeah, I killed him! I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I put a fucking shell in the back of his head. Actually, no, I used a handgun. Bitch wasn't worth a shell. 
It just kept speeding around me like a little bitch. The Always intro? Tiptoes to my room every night. Credits, game over. <laughs> just a sprinkle stardust and a whisper. Oh, that was Go so sleep. fun! Everything is previously on Alan Wake. Hell yeah. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. <laughs> now, she's missing. Alice? Behind the wheel of a crashed car, I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. Taken. New York City, three years ago. I wonder if he was happier in the past before the writer's block. Or is it still gonna be a pretentious downer? Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Like the Worst house. Worst weather I've ever seen. You That's put not. Some coffee on. It'll warm you up. What the? F this isn't even weather. This is a hurricane, dude. Right outside our door. Look at that shit. Worst weather I've ever seen. Understatement much. I wonder if we have hey, kids. Handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Oh, I guess nice. you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Oh, dude. Hey, is that fucking Patrick Dempsey? That looks like Patrick. What the fuck are you doing, Mr. fucking McDreamy over there? He died. Oh, bollocks. Locked in my own house. Oh, oh, I like it. Gray. Nice. I've been thinking about repainting. Oh, man. Might take some ideas from this. Alan Wake. I have to turn my head sideways to see that shit. Return to sender. What well, I can't forgive. A Alex Casey. Oh, look at that dude! Fucking Golden Guns, Code Veronica! Oh, if, if Steve Burnside's in this game, I'm turning it off and never touching it again. Wait, there's no coffee in here. No coffee at all. Can I take a shower or anything? Okay, 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 here we go. Where's the coffee maker? Yeah. Oh, Coffee's on. That's a blender. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Yeah, that's what you need. Not like a bunker or something. Can I go outside at least and look at it? That ain't normal. Go to Alice, okay. Did we get a new TV? Are you spending my money again? Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. I, I, I... These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh. Alan? Yeah, Alan, I, I, I'm, I'm here. Check the fuse box. I'm right here. Uh, I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Honey, it's a power outage. Oh shit. I, I got the flashlight. Okay. Give her the flashlight. Hey, do you want Hi. it? You okay? Hi. I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. 
Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. He just said that to shut okay. her up. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Her face looks like Elena Fisher if she got a bad facelift. Present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, Whoa. Uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. Oh. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. It's Doc a Nelson fishing was the rod. Of a small I thought it was a dock. samurai sword. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a Wait. look at the cut in my head. Uh, is there like a, a coffee thingy around here? What the hell is R2 for? Do I still have my weapons? Huh? Excuse me. No, I seen, I seen it there. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman Bye. like me. <laughs> right there. Are you Mr. Sarah? Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Oh, Sarah, the one that... That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. Who the right fuck are I you talking from. about? As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. <gasps> Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Oh, she knows. She knows we're gonna be friends with her soon. Uh, so is this is the sheriff the girl from earlier? I have a question. Why did that cop, the female cop, go for her gun when someone was walking towards her unarmed and fucking? It clearly, clearly, he rang her for help and was in no way apparent to me a threat. And also, isn't it a law that female cops? Have to have a, a male partner with them? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Trashed it. But we it was okay when we went there. Huh. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. How about you point me to the office? Thank you. Is that too much to ask for? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Camping trip. I wonder if we'll run into these guys. What about you? This man disappeared. 20 out of the 6, 07. Knack for winning contests. Oh, the doggy! The doggy! Okay, so, hold on. Where's the, can I, can I talk to the dog? Is that a cat? I'm gonna say it's a dog. I wonder if that dog's dead. Come hey! Come in, Mr. Wake. 
Your phone's on the desk. Thank the battery you. was dead. It's charged now. Very cautious. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wake, can I help Don't you with anything? Don't do stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. He's one of our regulars. Hey, mister! Hey, what's up? Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't... Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. I won't, you know, man. I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. <laughs> I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounded like something that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. I believe you, dude, but I hope it's not an alien. Aliens are born. I want demons. Monsters from the nether realm. Nice. What's it doing there? I told him, oh yeah, well, I don't hear what he is. Huh? On your feet. I... The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Okay, fair enough. But let me look around first. I want to find more manuscripts uh, scripts and anything else that, that might be useful to me. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, but there's one. Come on, give me that flask. And a radio. Yeah, I'll play it. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deerfest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Fair enough. Okay. Ha! Come on, dude, you can do it. Oh my god, really? Alan. Where the hell is it? You can't climb shit, you're used- Look at this guy! How well is she- Look! How is she, motherfucker! Ugh! Whoa, strong though! Dude! Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Okay, that would be great if I could get out, though. Alan, Alan, come on, Alan. 
Thank you. My god. Cut that weed. This game's intense, dude. Are you still here? Are you alright? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Can you give yourself superpowers? Marvel that would help a lot. I just wanted to settle all the damage. Hey, man, what's up? Brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Nice Did cardigan. You talk to my wife. I had the pleasure of having <laughs> a situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh, what the fuck? Take it easy. What? Where? Is... Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? Barry. I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Yeah, what was that about? That came out of nowhere. <laughs>